Oliver, if a company I'd invested in had 26% sales growth, I'd be pretty chuffed. But uh, ASOS uh, today has fallen as much as 20% and is currently down 10% uh, on, on announcing that growth. I mean, what's gone wrong here? What's gone wrong is that uh, ASOS's growth, 20, like I say, 26% is pretty impressive, but it's not quite what analysts were expecting. People had expected 32% growth over the first couple of months of this year. So the sales growth is disappointing, hence the, the share price fall. And one of the reasons it's so steep is that ASOS um, online closed retail is very, very highly valued. It's been trading at around 100 times earnings. So any slight disappointment and there's a, there's a big drop in store. Yeah, I was going to say a, a company invested in that 97 times earnings is kind of a, a bit more risky. We've spoken a lot about sort of, you know, slightly crazy online valuations uh, on Next recently, you know, with Boohoo, a very similar business to ASOS coming to market. Um, I mean, what's the read across here to those valuations? Well, the read across is that if you pump up a valuation this high, there's going to be a steep fall if anything goes wrong, as it has a, a, at ASOS. Now, I think the thing to bear in mind is that there's a difference between high valuation for something like ASOS and high valuation for something like Facebook or Facebook or WhatsApp, which, which are also rated very highly. The difference being that, that ASOS is really a physical world company. Yes, it sells online, but it has to move the goods. It has to have a supply chain. It has to get the, the goods from its own warehouses to its customers. So there's delivery costs, there's all these other costs. Interestingly, ASOS's operating margin is going to be 6.5% this year. That's very similar to other offline retailers. It's not a great operating margin by any stretch. It's it, because That's because it is a, a real-world business with real physical costs. And you, you mentioned real-world retailers. I mean, what's an example in terms of, you know, like a valuation, you know, compared to ASOS? Well, if you look at Next, as an example, that's trading about 19 times earnings, which is also fairly high for a retailer. Now, granted, that's a very different business. Yes, Next has an online business, but it's got lots of stores and they cost a lot of money. It's growing much more slowly. Next is only growing sales at about 5% a year, so much slower than that 27, 26%, sorry, at ASOS. But nevertheless, that's an enormous gap from 19 times to to, to 97 times now for, for ASOS. And, and it's yes, there's an awful lot of growth out of ASOS, but but the, the, the share price prices in all of that and some more. Okay, a reminder that online growth doesn't come for free. Thank you, Oliver.